Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, Daniel, it's a weekend and you're doing a Bitcoin video. I cannot remember the last time you've done this and you're absolutely right. I can neither remember the last time that I've done a video on the weekend. And you know what? I am happy to be back. I'm happy to be here with you and I'm happy to talk you through the Bitcoin charts because we are one, we are family and we are champions and we are ready to absolutely crush these charts any day of the week, 24 seven. Let's absolutely go. Let's go team. Right. Wow. I mean, what a 24 hours it's been. Well, really what a week it's been. Breaching all time highs, coming back down below all time highs. We all saw the pivotal, uh, you know, how pivotal that daily was flipping it originally from resistance into the support to bring us a new all time high uh, before eventually doing a bit of a fake out, we can say, and, you know, back testing it as resistance. We were looking at this yesterday with a few different, obviously, key support levels. We had our CC, which we originally bounced off of. And then we obviously had our weekly, which we are at now, should we lose the low of that uh, range, basically. And we can see we were really looking for a sign of strength, we could have said would have been reclaiming this daily level as support. In in fact, that is not what happened. And we kind of just done the, you know, the, that resistance held. Okay, the resistance held overall. We formed a bit of an ascending triangle with the swing failure pattern. So if you come down here on a lower term time frame, um, you know, we are going to get into what's happening right now. I'll be talking you through uh, the, the, the levels that we're looking at next. But for educational reasons, I want to really quickly talk you through this. And that was obviously when we came up right on two o'clock to form the swing failure pattern. So you can just see this very, very, very easily. We formed a swing failure pattern of the high and then we come back down and lost the level. On top of that, Obviously, we also had a lot of trap longs. You can see here in this candle coming up to the daily, that is 25 million new longs opening. And what we can say is they're opening at resistance and then they get trapped on the break back down. So naturally, that is going to be if we're looking to trade the range, we knew this was the range high, we knew this was resistance. And we obviously knew to ourselves, this is uh, yesterday's video, we had that daily marked out. And it's a simple case of seeing, okay, what is the highly, what's the most highly probable trade? Okay, we knew we had a support level down at around 61,400. And then we obviously knew we have the weekly where we are right now. And this was my thought process yesterday. I really, really, really want you to pay attention to the next few minutes because uh, there's just so much you can learn. There's truly so much you can learn from this. Okay, so this is my thought processes at the time. We're up at daily resistance. I think that we have the potential of moving higher should we hold the daily support, which was obviously never happened. So in that moment, I have to be thinking to myself, OK, let's continue to trade the range and at least come down to the lower the range. And this was my idea. Should it happen? So I posted this in the discord yesterday, basically a Gartley idea where I'm still looking for another move down to take the lows. OK, so I'm thinking to myself at this point, we're getting too many aggressive longs. And then obviously when we form the swing failure pattern, of that last high, it really was a confirmed for me. Okay, this is another short position. Obviously, I currently now hold three shorts. And for me, this was another short position, which was a very low risk trade, trading the charts. We've come to the top of the range. We've formed a swing failure pattern of the top of the range. We've got trap longs at the top of the range. This is everything we want for a short. If we're truly trading the charts, and then I also thought to myself, we're at least going to come down for this Gartley. Well, as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, we come down below that. So this is the thing. We, I was looking for around, you know, 61, 400, to be honest with you. And this is my thought process. Uh, this would give us our potential Gartley. And this is where it truly, truly comes in. What is called trading what's happening. Not trading a bias, not trading, you know, this picture. It's trading what is actually happening at the time. Because as soon, as soon as we dropped to 61,400, I updated my team instantly saying, well, there goes the drop to wipe out all the early longs. But personally, I'm going to hold on to my short positions, obviously the ones from around 66,000 and the last latest one from the daily. And I am only going to open the long if we can reclaim daily open. OK, so I'm only going to long if it reclaims daily open. I go on to expand a little bit more saying, you know, obviously, yes, we are at the Gartley target, but I am not opening along yet. Why? Because I had recognized on the local term timeframes using the order flow, there was actually no sign of strength when we came down to 61,400. There was no sign of strength there. And so it comes, it comes to recognizing, okay, we've got to be patient here. 
there's no need to try and absolutely time the long and the safest option the safest option is to wait for that initial sign of strength which was reclaiming the daily open as you can see from the alert reclaim daily open eg then i will close the short and open along and that daily open was at sixty two thousand two hundred dollars so really simply you can see here getting into my brain how i originally worked out a range that we potentially had i originally then you know took the short from the top of the range i'm looking down for the low of the range and then as soon as the low of the range hits i'm updating my team saying i'm not taking a long yet i'm going to stay in the short positions that i've taken and I will long if we get that sign of strength. And that sign of strength never occurred, okay? That sign of strength never obviously happened. And this is where I go on to update my team saying, this is why we need to have a really good plan, yeah? This is why we need to have a plan. We need to re recognize the order flow. And by being patient, by recognizing what is classed as sign of strength, by being prepared for another drop to the downside, which we obviously got, and being prepared for a reclaim of the range, I'm able to extract money from the market whichever way it went. If we had have reclaimed and moved higher, I would have closed my short and went into a long. In fact, we never got the sign of strength. I stayed in my short and I made even more money on the drop. So I hope you can see the value, absolute massive, insane amount of value that I'm giving to everybody. I'm back trading. I'm back giving ideas throughout the day and I'm back giving these absolutely gold mine bits of uh, heads up to my group live in the time as it's happening that is obviously for the champions right now i'm back baby i'm back baby and i'm crushing it absolutely crushing it and then obviously where was the next level that we were looking for to the downside well hopefully you remember that very much so because we, we were looking obviously for the weekly what happened as soon as we hit the weekly here we got an insanely you know, you have to remember, we're, we're, I'm saying an insane bounce. I'm talking about in terms of percentage, over a 2% bounce within an hour. Okay, so in one hour, we got an over 2% bounce. And I know for some people, they're like, 2% oh, bounce, who cares? But when you're trading with the amount of capital, we're trading with 2% bounces are like really, really big moves, to be honest with you. So we obviously got a bit of a bounce off that daily. And for me, it, it looks very similar to the last range that we did. We kind of built our way up here with our higher highs and higher lows, put in a bit of an ascending triangle, and that obviously broke to the downside. We kind of formed something very similar here with our ascending highs, ascending lows. Okay, put in a bit of an ascending triangle, even got the fake out here, you got the fake out here. And obviously we're, well, are we going to pull back down below the weekly? That's to be continued. Uh, obviously, the first thing that would be still staying at the moment is weekly is obviously support and then our levels to the upside of the downside um well it's like we were saying yesterday that the day oh bef before we move on i have to remind you all that there is a free three thousand five hundred dollar deposit bonus right now over on bybit if you sign up to bybit using our affiliate links down below you will get not only a deposit bonus of up to three thousand five hundred dollars for free you will also and this is for everybody whatever you deposit get ten percent off all your trading fees so if you want to make use of that free money and also the ten percent off your trading fees check the pin comment down below i will leave the uh, affiliate and referral down there for you so you can make use of that. This this is the biggest ever buy, buy bit deposit bonus and it's only valid until Tuesday. So if you want to make use of that, you've got to be quick uh, this weekend or Monday, sign up with that and get some free cash. You cannot complain about that as well as the free cash we're extracting with these levels. So going back to the analysis, we obviously still know this weekly is clearly support. You know, this, this weekly is obviously still support. And it's a, it's a simple case of acknowledging I don't want to go into too much detail, but it's a simple case of acknowledging if we lose this, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, really. If we lose this level, then it can turn into resistance, just as on the way up, we were obviously building support resistance off of these levels. And it's the same on the way down. If this is a really big support and it's still support now, if we lose that level and flip it into resistance, then it turns a big support into big resistance, just like the daily. It was a big support level. We lost it. It flipped into resistance. OK, and we don't want to try and outsmart the market. We don't need to outsmart the market. We don't need to be thinking, you know, we can just be really simply acknowledging these levels are ultra important. Why are they ultra important? Because I gave you the levels. That's why these levels now to be serious, though, these weekly and daily levels, they're just they are. I mean, you can see for yourself that they're, they're getting respected also perfectly also perfectly this is not hindsight these are levels that we've had literally on our charts for months 
for months and they are absolutely perfectly respected. So obviously, if we hold this weekly support, remembering we can see fake outs, we can see, you know, deviations, moves down below and back up. But if we overall hold this as support, remembering we're on the weekend right now, then obviously our next level of resistance, you know, big, I'm talking about big levels here, big level of resistance to the upside is now $63,000. You're going to be coming back into your old point of controls. You're coming back into your, you know, that big order block before the move down. So, you know, of course, 63,000, quite a big level of resistance to the upside. Should we claim, should we, you know, get back above that? Of course, we got the daily. If we can reclaim that, we're looking back up to our levels that we mentioned in yesterday's video around 65K. So it's a, it's a simple case of, of, you know, hopefully one would say you, you're in a position, you, you're positioned right now. And it's a simple case of waiting. It's a simple case of, you know, being patient now for the next maybe 48 hours. I mean, we're on the weekend, volume's pretty low. I'm personally not trading the weekend. I'm already in my position. So I will, you know, I have alert set should we start to break up here or where it's worth me coming back to a computer. But for me, I'm I'm really okay with, with being patient on this mini range that we're putting in. Would I favor a move to the downside? Of, of course I would. <laughs> but if we break up from here, hey, I'm prepared, I'm ready. Um, you know, it's like yesterday. I, was, I, I positioned myself into three short positions overall. If we had moved back up, I can close my short and enter a long. It's the same now. I'm, I'm positioned really for downside. Uh, but if we reclaim resistance to support, if we show a sign of strength, guess what? I can close my short and enter a long. So, of course, I have my own personal underlying bias. Uh, and that right now would, would be at least to break the weekly. I'd, I'd like to see the weekly broken. But, you know, I'm not trading necessarily, you know, I'm, I'm trading off that bias. I hope you can understand this. I'm trading off that bias per se, but I'm also really, really, really open to say, hey, I'm wrong. Uh, hey, I need to get into a long position. I need to close that short at the very least. I won't necessarily go straight into a long, but I'll close that short at the very least. So I'm very, very open. And this, this is why I have such an edge in the market. Truly it is. I'm so open to knowing when I'm right, I'm so open to knowing when I'm wrong. Thankfully, I'm not wrong very often, but I'm I'm so open to admitting, uh, you know, in when it comes to charts, when it comes to trading, hey, I'm wrong on this idea. It's like yesterday, I had the Gartley down to here. If I was a stuck in my ways, if I was stuck in a bias, I would have said, right, guys, we've hit the Gartley target, that's long. But instead of that, I'm updating my team saying, no, actually, this is not a good long, and I'm going to stay in my shorts. I'm not going to open a long, I'm going to stay in the shorts. You see, I can have an idea and I know when it's right, when it's wrong. And thankfully, it came down to that target. Instantly, I'm updating my team. And I'm saying I'm staying in my short positions, not opening along. And guess what? We drop down even more. So you can kind of understand here how it's absolutely <laughs> very nice to have my updates live as they're happening, as well as understanding, you know, the levels, key levels of support, key levels of resistance, and how we are truly trading the charts for what they are. Okay, we see trap longs, top of the range it's a short position doesn't matter what we think doesn't matter what we want this is what's happening this is the live data as it's coming in yeah you cannot fake this this is totally real live orders as they're happening as they're executed if you can read order flow it's obviously a massive edge in the market um <laughs> so of course if you want to learn this then you can obviously learn this at chartchampions.com this we've got the whole team right now every single day live stream updates every single day somebody in the charts with you to help you look at this trading help even on the weekends look at this trading assistant right now just full-on going for it updating helping everybody all the time 24 7 7 days a week i mean it's insane the amount of help and support that you can get Oof, yeah I, I think yeah i think we've got a legendary team and that's obviously not including all the coaches as well. Like we got a we got a strong team to help you. What I will say is, ladies and gentlemen, obviously I done a members update yesterday. So I did my own live stream last night where I actually went through a lot of altcoins. So I've gone through several altcoins, finding some really really nice, uh, in my opinion, nice uh, potential setups and as you can see from some of the feedback here everybody absolutely loved this live stream so if you want to get in on that live stream if you want to see which altcoins i'm after next that's obviously chartchampions.com for the contenders and the champions if you want to learn how to do this again chartchampions.com if you want to get a three free three thousand five hundred dollar bonus you can do that with the link down below using the buy bit blast off uh so that's everything that i wanted to make you aware of in this video Obviously, yeah, I am back. I'm, you know, honestly, I'm really, 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 really happy. Um, 
as you can probably tell, I, I, I think you can tell now, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped. Uh, obviously, it helps when the trading is also going well. And um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Smash that like button as hard as you can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow. I'll have another live stream, Champions live stream tomorrow, where I'll go obviously much, much, much more in depth here on Bitcoin, deleting all my analysis, building up from scratch, uh, doing all the analysis, building a plan. And uh, yeah, that's that's what you can look forward to tomorrow in the Champions live stream. So, I mean, we got content, content, content left, right and center right now here to help, here to support. And let's go team. Thank you ever so much. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow in the Champions live stream. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye before I end. Obviously, not financial advice in this video. Entertainment, educational only. With that said, thank you ever so much. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>